Hey, my Libra loves, how y'all doing? Um, I'm doing great. I hope you guys are as well. So if you are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. If you are returning, if you are a subscriber, welcome back. So y'all know, we're going to get y'all into the messages. So y'all already know, only take what resonates with you. If it doesn't fit, please don't try to make it. Also, time and energy are fluid. So this could be something past, present, or future. Um... And uh, masculine and feminine energies can be switched, roles can be reversed as it applies to your situation. So y'all listen, I started the video with a whole nother thing in mind, right? And I've, I'm playing music. So right before I hit record, Tony Braxton, he wasn't man enough for me was on, right? And so I went to the bathroom. TMI for y'all, my bad. But <laughs> I went to the bathroom. And so I'm singing a song in my head. And I'm like, um, she was, uh, what did I say? I said she instead of he. Yeah, because it's a part of the song where, where she was like, and you know he back to stay with me, right? And then I was like, um, I said she instead of he. I was like, you know, she back to stay with me. And then I was like, what, she? I was like, who out here begging a man to stay with them, right? And so, you know, these are just my thoughts in my head. You know, I'm like, who out here begging a man to stay with them? So I get to thinking, like, have I ever begged a man to stay with me? And I'm like, shh, you know. And then um, when I came back, the song that's playing now is Don't Leave Me by Black Street. Don't leave me, girl. But it's just crazy because I was like, damn, she, she, that's so... I don't know who this is for. And this is going to be like a quickie little message. But I really feel like they're... And, th and again, switch the roles as you need to, okay? But I was picking up on there's a feminine out here, out there, somewhere, okay? In the cosmos, and then the earthly realm, whatever, 212 on the timer, begging a man not to leave, So, that's not where I thought we was going right now, but that's where we at. So, let's get to it. <laughs> Holy Divine Spirit, Guardian Angels, Ancestors, Spirit God, Spirit Team, Ascended Masters, please be with me during this reading. No negative energy or entities. Oh, no weapon formed against us shall prosper. Oh, y'all, I did that all wrong. I'm sorry. But y'all know my prayer, okay? Please help me to use my intuition to gain clarity and understanding. Please help me to interpret and convey the messages accurately and clearly, Holy Spirit. Spirit God, Spirit Team of the Highest White Light. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. I say amen. Yeah. Let's just, let's just see what this is about. Honey. Let's just see what this is about. Because then before I came back in here and saw Don't Leave Me, I heard, baby, I'm begging, baby, I'm begging, begging, begging. Now, this could very much be a feminine because that's what I was picking up on, a woman begging a man not to leave, okay? But this could also be a male who is in their feminine energy, all right? So take those messages. Just take it however it resonates, okay? Hold on. I need to light a candle real quick. So let's see what the messages are, honey. What's what's going on with this energy, please? Holy Spirit. Guardian angels, ancestors, spirit guides. We got unfinished business here on the split. What's going on with this energy? Why am I picking up on somebody begging a person not to leave? What's the energy? And then look, now So Gone by Monica is playing. So whoever was being begged not to leave, I feel like they left. Child. Because now you you got, don't leave. I'm hearing, I'm begging, begging, begging not to leave, not for you not to leave. And then now you got So Gone right here. So somebody was like, I'm out. Okay. Child. 2.22. It is currently 2.22 p.m. as I am doing this reading right now. What's this energy I'm picking up on? Is somebody begging somebody not to leave? Child. Divine time in the third party. Somebody said it's time to go. Somebody said it's time to go because of a third party. 
it's time to go. This could be um, spirit telling this person it's time to go. Maybe this is somebody who continues to have someone in third parties, keep cheating on somebody, things like that. Maybe somebody found out somebody had a little something on the side and this person was like, nope, I'm out. It's time for me to go. And they're begging them not to leave. But something, it's time. Whatever this situation is, it's time. Somebody could be pregnant. We're pregnant on the bottom of the deck. What is this energy of somebody begging somebody not to leave? Child, look at the travel. Somebody is out. Look at the travel. Child, they leaving. Getting away, far apart. They, they putting some distance between them and this person. Now, this could be somebody putting a distance between them and a third party. Maybe somebody's leaving the third party. Maybe the third party is begging a person not to go, okay? I don't know. But somebody is definitely leaving, okay? Because they had a crossroads about new love. So you got new love and secret crush. Is somebody going leaving to go toward their secret crush? Hmm. Child, tell me more, Holy Spirit. Tell me more, Father. What's going on here? What is going on here? What's the energy? What is the energy? Uh, how sway how you got distance coming out again long distance relationship right beside each other whoever this person is they high telling it out of there and they could be leaving to go towards somebody else I'm telling you lots of travel somebody going to cuff somebody else Beyonce, cuff it. Child. This could be a work relationship, somebody that somebody works with. Maybe somebody, somebody could also be like a truck driver or work overseas or work um like on an oil rig or something like that offshore. Somebody feels like they don't have enough support from somebody or something like that, or they want more support. Child, somebody happy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wow. Okay, so whoever this, whoever 737 on a timer, whoever is leaving, okay, it's like they're happy. This person is happy and healing or they, they're in the process of healing or they have healed, okay? Um, they could be talking to somebody new here with a romantic relationship or romantic feelings and text messages. They could be healing or have healed and talking to a new person here. Okay. This is somebody who has went through an awakening. Child, you know what I'm getting? I'm getting that whoever is leaving, right? I'm, I'm getting communication. They're leaving who the third party or whoever they're leaving, okay? And again, in these readings that I'm doing for my collective, the third party is whoever is outside of you and the person that you're watching this video for, okay? Like, I don't care if they a wife or a husband, uh, whoever they are to that person, mother, sister, brother, it don't matter. The third party in my readings for my collective or is whoever this other this, the other person outside of you and the person that you watching the video for okay so who's ever leave this this person is leaving the third party okay and i'm getting on the phone with the person that they want to go toward because remember i said they could be leaving wanting to go toward somebody else want to go toward their secret crush wanting to go cuff somebody else ready to cuff it all right and they're telling this person, like, yeah, we're done. I'm on my way. Like, they're happy. This could be you that's happy. If this is a third, if this is a person who's coming toward you and they left their third party, then you could be happy. This person could just be happy here. Okay. I'm feeling like whoever this is, they want to come in so that they could heal the connection between the two of you. All right. And they're talking about y'all talk, they're talking about feelings. They're talking about emotions. They're talking about, yeah, we're done. I'm gonna come home to you. I'm I'm coming. I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Yeah, because this person is tired of the side chick drama. Somebody could be. I've been like a long time coming, all right? Because this person was whoever they were dealing with, 
they were dealing with them for like financial stability. Okay. This person was like draining their finances. They could have worked with this person or met this person at work. I'm hearing business owners. So they could have owned some type of business with this person. But I feel like things are about to change. Child, I can't make it up. I'm telling you. Yeah. Because look at the side chick with the finances. Taking all this person's money, all right? But this shit is changing. If they, if they did marry this person with the wedding here, this is a toxic relationship. And th they found out that the person that they married that they're dealing with is a damn snake. Child, pay attention to the music. I'm trying to tell y'all. These songs. Yeah, somebody found out that they were dealing with a snake, honey. Look, now. <laughs> Now the song is playing is Brandy, I Want to Be Down. And it literally says, you know how they say explicit version or something like that? It says single version. Let me show y'all. Can I flip this while I'm recording? I don't think so. Hold on. Let me pick it up. You see that? Can y'all see how it says, I want to be down? And then it says single version. Yeah. For some of y'all, whoever you, is connecting with this message, you about to get the single version of your person because they want to be down with you. Na, 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 na. Listen, they want to be down with you. Child, no matter the time, day or night, it's true. I want to be down. Huh? See? Baby. And look, this I'm sorry, y'all. I'll look. The third party, uh, the third party is calling, texting, trying to find out where this person is at. All right. They could be, you know, have this person on block. If they know who you are, they might, you might even be hearing from the third party child. I'm telling you. Yeah, this is definitely a toxic relationship. Look, it's showing up again right here. Somebody, divine intervention, something happened here that um caused this third party. And I'm and again, I said this was a, a woman begging a man not to leave. So I'm really feeling like this is divine masculine energy or the, or a masculine energy, 1222 on the timer, that's coming toward you, okay? But again, please switch the roles as they as you need to because you could definitely be a male resonating with this and this, or however it goes, y'all know what I'm trying to say. This could be a female. The third party could be a female or the third party could be a man in his female energy, Okay. So just take it how it resonates. But anyway, something happened between these two people that caused this person that's leaving to wake up. There was some type of divine intervention, okay? Remember, we started off with the divine timing. It's time to go. They got some type of message from spirit, from the universe. They got some type of clarification, sign synchronicities, whatever the hell, okay, from the universe and you know what I'm saying? It's like, all right, I said, I told you that I would let this go or I would let you know when it was time to go. Now's the time. Get your get shit and get going now. Yeah. The person, the third party is stressed. Anxiety, drinking a lot, toxic relationship. The third party is stressed. And this also could have been this person who was stressed out while they were dealing with this third party. They could have been drinking a lot while they were dealing with this person because whoever this third party is, they were cheating on the on this person. They were cheating and they got found out. Yeah, child, look, I can't even make it up. You got the crossroads right here. This is multiple choices, multiple options, okay? And then you got the live-in boyfriend with the hookup, child. So whoever this person was, they were living with this person and they found out that they were hooking up with somebody else. They, they found out about a third party. The third party got a third party, period. And this person found out. Child, let me write that down. Hold on, y'all. The third party got a third party. And your person found out or is about to find out. This is past, present, or future energy. So please take it how it resonates, all right? For some of y'all, this is this is current energy, future energy. All right. 
unfinished business. This person feels like they have unfinished business with you. So they could be, you know, trying to hit you up on social media. They could be watching, spying your social media, trying to see what you got going on. Maybe they're not even saying anything to you. They're just trying to see what you have going on here. But I feel like they may communicate with you. And when they do communicate with you, they're going to talk to you about this breakup and this heartbreak. Okay. They're going to talk to you about what happened in this situation. For those of you who are going to talk to this person, if you already know that you're not going to deal with this person you're not interested you don't care what they got to say 15 15 on the timer then that's fine okay i'm not talking to you this is for those of you because some some of you probably will even if it's just to be nosy even even if you just want to be nosy and know what's going on with this person or what happened and you want to know why they all of a sudden coming to you then you may hear them out for that reason alone shoot i don't know but they're gonna tell you if you do talk to this person they're gonna tell you about this breakup and they may do so over a date. Maybe they wanted to take you out. Okay. Maybe y'all agree to go get some drinks or something like that. Mm -hmm. They want to talk. Sorry, my thing dying, y'all. They want to talk. That's the way love goes by Janet Jackson. Like a moth to a flame burned by the fire. My love is blind. Can't you see my desire? That's the way love goes. Yeah. This is just part of the plan. I just feel like this, this is just how things are, are having to go. This is how things are having to play out with the divine timing, okay? Mm -hmm. It's like that's just the way the cookie crumbles. Y'all hear the damn confirmation? My thing's about to go dead, but yeah. Um, yeah, somebody been... Uh, oh, child, I can't. Yeah, let's just see. Look what I split it on, spying on your social media. This could be this person that's coming towards you, or this could be the third party, honey. Because remember, mm, look at the secret crush. Look at the secret crush. Yeah, somebody got found out. This third party got found out, and they were trying to be all defensive and shit like that. Somebody could have even got caught like in the act of doing something with somebody, or somebody... Like maybe found some pictures of of or a conversation between their their person and the third party and, and they third party. Oh y'all, that's what it was. So last night while I was shuffling the deck, right? I was just playing around with the deck. Okay. It was the same deck. And I knew I should have left them cards out, but I didn't leave them out. But the third party card came out first. There's two third party cards in this deck and they both came out side by side, just like the both of these travel cards came out side by side. And I was looking like, what is that? That's what it is. Remember I said the third party got a third party. Child. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Well, let me, I'm gonna put a little bit of tarot on it to see what's you know, that's what, and then we're going, I'm going to get up out of here. Mm, mm -mm. Let's see. Look, signs and synchronicities. Didn't I say this person, they got the, they got the sign this time. Mm -hmm. Somebody, they could have found out that that person was dealing with somebody of like the same sex. You got, I like girls and boys here. All right. I'm hearing for somebody, they could have invited a third party into their relationship and then it started to, to take a turn. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know how sometimes people invite people into their relationship and like, oh, we're in a throuple or are we just going to do this? And then the two of the people will go off and start doing their own thing without the other person knowing. Like, <laughs> for somebody, it's something like that. That ain't for everybody, but that's just what I'm getting, okay? That, that's what could have happened for somebody. All right, tell me what happened. What happened between this person and the third party? What happened? Party, party. So, party, something happened at a... Ooh, child, somebody could have had a public breakup at a party, or it got something to do with the party, okay? Hmm, because you got the breakup and the snake falling out here. So somebody could have found out something at a party or like in public. Somebody could have been having some type of celebration. Maybe there was a public fight, a public argument, a breakup between 
your person in the third party. Somebody could have also, if if these people were at a party together or celebrating something or whatever, somebody could have ran into the third party. Like the third party popped up out of nowhere. And maybe this is like somebody's ex or something like that. And then they like, what they doing here? And then it's just like a whole thing, child. Ooh, wee. Mm -mm -mm. Text message again. Yeah, I feel like you guys maybe can expect a text message from this person. Yeah, Paige. Listen, this is going to be specific, all right? And I don't know who this for, 2022 on the timer. But your person went toward a third party. They probably they got they cheated on you or they ghosted you or left you out or whatever the heck they did, right? The person, because we got the side chick showing up again. This person could be a single mom, all right? But you got the thief, the single mom, and the side chick right here, okay, with the wedding. This person that they went toward, remember I said they probably got married to this person and things like that? This person feels like they stole your person. Let me just say that. This is the type of type of person that's going to, that's like, ha ha, I stole your man, I stole your woman, da, 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 da. okay? But they did it because out of jealousy. Because they probably knew this person was really digging you, really feeling you or whatever. So they stole this person or whatever. They stole this person because, I mean, did they really? That's in their mind. I'm not saying that because, I mean, if they could take them from you or if that person walked away from you that easily, they were never yours to begin with. So I'm saying stole because we got the thief card here, okay? You could be a single mom or this other person, this side chick could be a single mom here. But whoever this is, they went toward, they married this person. But I feel like you and this person have some type of spiritual connection. This could be your divine child. I don't know. But um, you can expect a text message from this person. I don't know when, don't ask me. But, well, you can't ask me, but child, they go to third party again. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. I heard somebody been drinking and drugging. So yeah, that's that's what happened. Yeah, somebody look at the change. Yeah, things are definitely changing. Somebody split. Uh, somebody broke up with this person because they found out they was a low down dirty snake, a crawling on the belly, snake in the grass, honey. And they got bit. This person. Something came back around to bite this person, or this person like kind of bit their bit themselves by dealing with this person, um, if that makes sense. Because this snake it really looks like it's biting itself. Like something came back to bite your person in the arse. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, that's what happened though. This person, they you what I just said that they did to you, however it is that they that you know they left you, whether they ghosted you, whether they lied to you, whatever it is, it's like they went toward this person. For some of them, not everybody, they married this person or they got in a serious relationship with this person. Maybe they had a baby on you with this person or something like that. But whatever is going on here, what whatever reason that they broke up with you or left you, they dealing with right now. Okay, like it's coming back to bite them in the ass karma could have been a new love that they went toward here but it's really like a codependent relationship remember i said somebody was just in it for the finances okay but you wasn't i'm hearing i'm not in it for for the love of cash because if you go broke I gotta make it last. Yeah, you wasn't dealing with this person for no finances or nothing like that. They could have been broke. You could have been broke. Y'all both could have been broke. Maybe y'all both had money. I don't know. But you wasn't dealing with this person for material things. You was dealing with this person because you wanted to. You were where you wanted to be. And you thought this person was where they wanted to be. But apparently they were not. But now, where I want to be. Child, look, they thought the grass was greener on the other damn side. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. Now they don't went towards somebody that they in a whole damn toxic relationship with that's probably screwing their friends or something like that. This person need to make sure that they use protection, honey. Mm. All right, I'm going to be up out of here. Anything else? Final messages? Anything else? No. I'm going to leave it there, guys. I 
I hope something helped y'all out. I'll see y'all in the next video. Until then, peace, love, prosperity, and abundance. All right, bye.